What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today we are looking at the RPA-16, which is a professional power amplifier. Now this thing is an absolute beast, but before I get into anything, let me show you what this can do. All right guys, we are all set up with our demo here. Now we're in our warehouse. Usually we film these demos upstairs where we film all our other videos, but this amp is too powerful and these speakers were way too loud that I couldn't do it upstairs. So we moved to our warehouse, which is a humongous space as you can see. Let me explain our setup really quick. So I have four Mackie speakers, they're passive speakers, they're DRM-12A-Ps, two speakers to this channel, two speakers to channel B on the RPA-16. Each speaker is about 500 watts, and they're all run down to a four ohm load on each channel. At four ohms, each channel is outputting about 1500 watts. Let's go ahead and just listen to what this sounds like now. All right, so I'm gonna start playing, and I'm gonna start at about 50% on each channel, and then we're gonna go up and see what it sounds like. Here we go. actually insane. Now one of the things you probably noticed right away from the demo is this amp is an absolute powerhouse. So let's talk about the specs. So at 8 ohms you're getting 1000 watts per channel and at 4 ohms you're getting 1500 watts per channel. There's actually a way to bridge both of the channels together so you get a combined 3000 watts at 8 ohms. Now let's move our attention to the front of the device really quick. So over here we have our on and off switch. Once you turn it on you'll notice the beautiful LCD display in the center. On the display there's channel A and B and the other other two things that it's measuring. Now the first thing it's measuring is decibel level. So you'll notice if I turn one of the knobs for the channel, the numbers start to change on the display. This gives me perfect control so I can accurately set both of the channels to the same outputting volume level. The other thing you're going to notice on the display is the temperature per channel and that's just to let you know how hot each channel is running. Now on the left and right of the LCD display there are LED indicators that are letting you know what's going on on each channel. So there's a clip LED which will illuminate if you are setting the power amp eclipse signal, a signal LED that illuminates when you're playing music or sending signal to any of the channels, and then we have a protect LED indicator. Now on the sides of the RPA-16 we have our rack here so you can rack mount this 2U unit. Now on the back over here we have channel A and B combo jack inputs that accept both XLR and quarter inch cables. We also have XLR link outputs that allow you to send the signal to an active subwoofer, speaker, or another power amp if you need even more juice. Now this switch over here allows you to toggle between three different modes, the first being stereo mode, which is a traditional left and right sound setup. So if you have a stereo mix of something, everything that's panned to the left side of the mix will go to one channel, and everything panned to the right side of the mix will go to the other channel. Now if I switch it over to this middle position in parallel, I'm running it in a dual mono fashion, which just means everything that you're hearing in one speaker is exactly the same in the other speaker. And finally, if I switch it over to bridge mode, it means the amp is combining channels A and B for a total of 3000 watts. Now right next to the mode switch is our crossover switch. Now all the way in this position we are in bypass which means we are sending a full range signal to the speakers. So if I go to the middle now it's a 160 hertz subwoofer crossover setting and if I want to really focus on those low low frequencies I can go all the way to this position which is an 80 hertz subwoofer crossover setting. Now to the right of all of that we have a super quiet cooling fan. And over here we have our channel A and B speaker output so we have terminals that accept both bare wire and banana connectors as well as of course speak on cables. So the RPA-16 is an absolute beast when it comes to a power amplifier. 
You can literally run a whole rig off of this and still have some watts to spare. This gives us a lot of flexibility of what we can do with the RPA-16. You can run two speakers off of it, or four speakers like we did in our demo, one subwoofer off of it, or even two subwoofers. You can use it in professional settings for DJ setups or music venues, or maybe you have a large party or dance hall that you wanna fill up with sound, you can use it for that too. So if you're looking for a powerful, reliable, and professional power amp for your setup, look no further than the RPA-16 from Rockville. As always, guys, I'm Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.